Located seven miles west of Springfield, Louisiana, Tickfall State Park offers visitors an exciting chance to experience the beauty of Louisiana wetlands. The park opened in May 1999 and quickly became one of Louisiana's top parks because of its unique natural setting, recreation opportunities, and its proximity to the state's two largest metropolitan areas of New Orleans and Baton Rouge. Whether you're an out-of-state traveler or a Livingston Parish local, Tick Fall State Park offers plenty of opportunities to enjoy life on the wetlands. The 1,200-acre park has a nature center, a water park, picnic shelters, large pavilions, a large fishing pond, 14 cabins, and 50 campsites. Canoeing is a big attraction. You know, I'd recommend that for the spring and the fall. I would, summertime, it gets kind of hot. And then we also have the, uh, the little wet playground, little splash pad deal, and uh, that's really popular. That's the summertime activity to get out in that and play around. Trails and over one mile of boardwalks allow visitors to explore four unique ecosystems within the park. Cypress Tupelo Swamp, Bottomland Hardwood Forest, Mixed Pine Hardwood Forest, and the Tickfall River. The boardwalk trails that go to the river and along the hiking trail to the back, that's my personal favorite spot because you get to see uh, the Tickfall River as it really is, like a, just a raw, you know, untouched view of it. Obviously the Nature Center here, of course, and I think for the kids, they all want to go to the water playground. And then just also just to be out in nature and enjoy nature. You know, we have a lot of, if you take your time and listen, you'll see a lot of wildlife out here and just be able to appreciate the uh, wetlands. I mean, because that's what this park's about, is wetlands education. Visitors seeking to get a peek at Louisiana wildlife won't be disappointed. Tickfall State Park serves as a natural habitat to a variety of reptiles and mammals, including American alligators, nine branded armadillos, North American beavers, white-tailed deer, foxes, Virginia opossums, rabbits, raccoon, and squirrels. You know, you never really know what you're going to find out there. Alligators, snakes, everything. It, and it's something you might not see in your backyard. You know, that's why I think a lot of people like to come out here, because they get to spot stuff that's not usually seen around their place. Those looking to stay overnight can visit one of 14 spacious two-bedroom cabins. The cabins easily sleep eight people. They are fully air-conditioned, include a working fireplace, and a fully equipped kitchen and bathroom. A group camp accommodates up to 48 visitors in two spacious dormitory wings, each served by private bath facilities. The dormitories flank a dining hall and a central kitchen equipped with commercial cooking equipment. The park also offers 30 campsites with water and electricity, fire ring, and picnic table for recreational vehicle owners. The Nature Center at Tickfall State Park offers a variety of features to not only entertain, but educate visitors. The River Aquarium gives guests a rare up-close view of life beneath the Tickfall River. The museum offers a variety of interactive exhibits that depict images of native plants and animals. The Nature Center also houses a theater, which frequently offers an eight-minute video illustrating a brief history of the area. Now, the museum itself is here for environmental education. We've added to it over the years to make it a little more well-rounded for everybody. I mean, when it first opened, it was mainly just focusing on environmental education with a focus on wetlands. But since then, we've come in and added cultural items, historical items, and just items that are also just fun to look at. So it, it has a, it's well-rounded. We call it the Nature Center, but we call it the Nature Center plus more because it has more to it than just nature. The park's most valuable teaching tool, it's also its most valuable natural function. Periodically, the park site serves the region by detaining floodwaters when winter and spring rains overflow the steep banks of the Tickfall River. These periods of occasional flooding offer a unique opportunity to educate visitors on the importance of periodic flooding and the cycle of life that makes wetlands an invaluable habitat and breeding ground for wildlife and fisheries. I mean, as much wetlands as we can keep, the better, you know, and then everybody knows that now. If this was turned into subdivisions, they would develop it and flatten out all the land and fill it in and then the water from the river wouldn't flow in here anymore. It would stay in the river and then make the river get higher. Citizens will be happy to know that the Tickfall State Park not only introduces travelers and locals to Louisiana's natural beauty, but it brings in much needed revenue for the parish and the state. For every taxpayer dollar, Louisiana State Parks generate $3.25 in state revenue. Last year, nearly 2 million people visited Louisiana's many parks, 
and local parish businesses are the first to benefit from park tourism. They're definitely, because we get visitors from other states coming in, bringing money into the state that come through. And this is just not just here, but for all parks. You know, that's one of the, um, you know, tourism in general. We get a lot of out-of-state visitors, so, you know, that's bringing fresh money in. And it also helps local businesses because people coming in, they're going to go and they're going to buy food, they're going to buy, you know, all this other stuff, and so that's bringing in money to them. Last year, Tick Fall State Park had over 98,000 visitors, and they brought an impressive $2.2 million in revenue to Livingston Parish. For more information on Tick Fall State Park, visit their website at www.tickfallstatepark.com. You can also call 225-294-5020 or email at tickfall at crt.state.la.us. Out-of-town visitors can call toll-free at 1-888-981-2020. Livingston Parish, a great place to call home.